Okay, so let's go to query, edit, query. I don't think I saved the last query, so let's um, come to home here and just apply any other steps that I did. I think I did some steps for flash fill in the last video. So flash fill, um, here we are. So here we want to talk about choosing columns. Now, one big thing, when Power Query was being developed, you could kind of highlight like this and, and delete, but what about if you had 100 columns? Then you need to kind of highlight 100 columns and delete. So what they invented, which was cool the first time around, was they kind of allowed you to highlight the columns and do something to other columns. So you could right click and say something like remove other columns, or you could say on pivot other columns. Yeah. So that was a very cool move. But then sometimes, right, you, you actually want to remove just this guy and this guy and another one somewhere else. So what you could do instead of doing that is you choose your column. So under home, there's a new button here called choose columns. I'm not too sure when it was added, but choose columns. So if I go to choose columns, I can actually, are you sure you want to insert a step? No, 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 let's cancel. So look at this, I'm in a very different step here. So I have to be at the last step. So I was already in a mid step. So I didn't want to insert any steps. Let's just do it properly. So I come here to choose column. I say choose column. Then you can actually choose which columns you want to keep. I can remove this. I like this guy, I like this guy, I like this guy, and this guy. No, I don't want this guy. I want this one, and I want this one, and I want that one. So you are choosing your columns. And once you've chosen, and you say OK, it's basically written the code. Here it says table.select. Let's see how this looks. So look at what is writing here. It says table dot select columns, reorder column, name, department name, title, leave, detail, blah, blah, blah. These are the columns you have chosen, isn't it? So that's how choose column works. Pretty simple and very useful. All right, so what's next? Let's save this. Uh, I did this on flash fill, right? Mm, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just given it another name and said choose columns. All right, flash fill. I'm going to duplicate you, duplicate. Then I'm going to call this one, choose columns, choose columns. Right, that's another trick, by the way, duplicating columns. And then I go back to flash filler and I rewind. So you can press rewind, I've deleted this, I've pressed rewind, reorder columns, fine. So flash fill is fine, this is to choose columns. And then I apply all these nice queries I've done, I'm applying everything's up to date. Yes, and then what's our next trick? 